Photos of 11 teenage girls turn up on a list posted on Facebook and it's signed Death Assassin. As you might imagine, parents and the students are terrified. Good evening, I'm Vicki Yates. And I'm Rory Johnston. Tonight, the male student who posted it is under arrest. And News Channel 5's Nick Barris tells us questions remain about his motive and whether he what he made was a hit list. I have obtained a copy of what was posted, and depending on who you ask, it was a threatening post or more specifically a hit list. Whatever the case, it's easy to see why parents and students were so concerned. After all, the post was signed Death Assassin. That gets your attention. The post on Facebook earlier this week involved students at Stewart County High School. We've blurred the names and photos, but the post is titled Wanted. There are photos and names of 12 students, 11 females. The one male is the student detectives say made the post. At the bottom, you see a couple of dates, and it's signed Death Assassin. With this, I was terrified. This is the mother of one of the girls on the list. We hid her identity. She says her daughter knows the boy and the post scared her. They consider it a hit list. My daughter's a little worried because we know what he's capable of. And when I seen it, yes, that's exactly what hit me was, are you kidding me? That's a hit list. Authorities quickly tracked the suspect and charged him under a state law against making perceived threats on social media. But Sheriff Frankie Gray says it was not a hit list. That wasn't what it was. But do I think there was uh, obvious concern? Well, sure. And if I was a parent, would I have been concerned? Sure, I would have. The sheriff says there was no specific or immediate threat of violence on the post, which again included photos of the 11 girls and the suspect who was questioned. So what was it all about? It was, uh, uh, I think, more of a fantasy-type situation uh, is the best way I can describe it. Hit list or not, that's little consolation for the parents. But what they should know is that the suspect is no longer at the school and in the custody of his parents for now. He will soon go before a judge to face those charges and we will learn then what happens next. Nick Barris, News Channel 5.